Today we're going to talk to you about potty training. If you haven't watched our crate training video, there'll be a link up at the top. That's the first video you want to watch. That is the first step in potty training. But today we're going to talk to you a little bit more about how to potty train your puppy. So to prepare for potty training, you'll need the puppy, of course. Some treats. I use these little Zook treats because they're tiny. A leash. And if you're going to use the bell method, you'll need some bells. For the door. There'll be a link in the description to where I got these bells from Amazon. They're called Poochie Bells. So one of the things to remember when successfully potty training a puppy is that you want it to be a very positive experience. Reward the puppy whenever they do good behavior. You also need to understand that a puppy needs to go out frequently. They say that the ge for general rule of thumb, for every month old a puppy is, that's about how long they can hold their bladder without having to go to the bathroom. So if your puppy is eight weeks old, generally they can hold it for about two hours. You really should be letting them out about once every hour just to be safe, but generally, they can hold it for about two hours. When you are taking your puppy out to go potty, you generally want to use a leash. That way you can keep the puppy within a certain area. Uh, another good tip is to always take the puppy to the same area. So say you pick a corner of your yard. We started out in that corner of the yard. That's where you always want to go when you take your puppy outside to potty. They will recognize the smells once they start pottying there and it will kind of stimulate them so that they will go to the bathroom. Potty time with a puppy will generally last anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. You want to give them ample amount of time to both pee and poop so that they don't do number one outside and number two back inside the house. And as soon as they're done going to the bathroom, you want to immediately take them back into the house. You want them to associate potty time and play time as two different things. So you can go back in the house after they're done going to the bathroom, go back inside for 10, 20 minutes or so, then come back, back outside for play time. While outside trying to get your dog to go to the bathroom, we always say, you know, go potty, go potty. Once your dog knows what this command is and what, what you want them to do later on in life, when you need to take them outside and they need to go potty, you can just say, go potty. They'll know exactly what you want them to do. This is convenient when you're outside of your home. Like if you take your dog on vacation with you, you stop at a roadside park and you need them to go to the bathroom, it helps them to know what they're supposed to be doing. Of course, when your dog does finally go potty, we always immediately reward with a treat. I actually keep a bunch of treats in my pocket. We just use little tiny treats. We either use these little bones or the Zook treats that I showed you earlier. And you immediately give the dog the treat, tell him whatever your praise word is, good girl, and make sure you pet them and give them lots of love and tell them, it's a good girl, yes, yeah, a good girl, yes, yeah, a good girl. So that they, they, they get that positive reinforcement and they know that they did something you want them to do. Unlike chewing on the leash, which we don't want you to do. Another tip for successful potty training. Pick a feeding schedule and stick to it. Puppies when they're really young should actually eat three times a day. Uh, so once early in the morning, once, usually I do mid-afternoon and then once in the evening. Uh, no later than like six o'clock because you don't want them to be going to the bathroom after you go to bed. A couple more basic potty training tips that are really important. As soon as your puppy wakes up from a nap, take them out to go to the bathroom. First thing in the morning, take them out first. Before you even go to the bathroom, take your puppy out to go to the bathroom. Um, as soon as they're done eating, take them out to go to the bathroom. Uh, after they've had a good play session, take them out to go to the bathroom. What are you doing? While you're at home, it's best to keep the pet in the same room as you and actually keep them confined to that room. In our house, we have the baby gate, so when we're in, you know, if we're in the living room, we keep the puppy in the living room with us. If we're in the kitchen, we keep her in the kitchen with us. That way we can keep an eye on her. You can kind of watch for, cer for signs of them needing to go to the bathroom. A lot of times they'll sniff and circle multiple times. It's usually a pretty good sign that they need to go outside really fast. Now a lot of you have been asking me about the bells. How do I use the bells to get the dog to go outside? Well, every time we want to take Memphis outside to go potty, Memphis is over there right now, we come up to the door and we go, you want to go potty? And we ring the bell. She was just outside, so we'll see if I can get her to do it. Right here. So we'll ask her if she wants to go outside. And we'll see if we can get her to ring the bell. Come on, ring the bell. Ring the bell. Good girl. And then we open the door and we go outside. There you go. And she knows that every time she rings that bell, we're going to get to go outside. It was dark down here, huh? So all you got to say is, you want to go potty? There's no bell on this door, though. There's usually a bell on that door. <laughs> and she'll ring the bell. And then when you're not around and she needs to go potty, she'll go ring the bell. Now if your dog does have an accident and you see it happen, I usually yell no, and then I'll pick the puppy out and take them directly outside. You don't really want to punish them, rub their nose in it. Stuff like that doesn't actually work. 
Um, if you don't see it happen, there really is no point in punishing your dog because dogs live in the now and they're not really going to remember what they did wrong or why you're punishing them. So you need to catch them in the act. That is usually the most effective way to train them of what they're not supposed to be doing. At night, we usually wake up two to three times during the night if we don't hear her crying to actually let her outside. You really want to do this until they're about 16 weeks old. By then, they should be able to make it all night without issue, uh, without having any accidents. As long as you're letting them out right before you go to bed and first thing when you wake up in the morning. By the time they're 16 weeks old, they should be able to make it through the night. Biggest tips I can give you guys, praise, praise, praise. Always praise and reward the puppy for doing the right thing. Lots of treats, lots of love, lots of praise. Eventually they're going to realize, wow, this is really cool. I like it when you pet me and when you feed me. So I'm going to keep doing these things you want me to do. You also need to remember that puppies cannot control their bladder, so accidents do happen. Most puppies aren't completely trained until they're about six months old. Uh, so you will have accidents from time to time. Just remember, clean them up immediately. Use a good cleaner to make sure to clean everything up so the smell goes away so they don't continuously want to go potty there. This, there are many different ways to potty train a puppy and you can Google how to potty train a puppy and it's going to give you a whole bunch of different ways. I'm just telling you guys the way that we do it. Uh, some people paper train, some people do other things. This is just how we do it. So I hope some of these he tips ha can help you guys in potty training your pets. And hopefully Memphis will be fully, fully potty trained really soon. Thanks for watching you guys. Thanks for subscribing and we will see you on Wednesday. You're kicking her butt, aren't you? Want to say hi to Oakley? Oakley! Oakley! Everybody wants to say hi to you! Oakley's like, but I'm over here looking for food. Silly girl. Really? Yes, I moved with She seems to like it better in here than in the bedroom. Do what you want, girl. How long did you wait after Shiloh passed away before you got her? Are you ringing the bell? Really? You need to go outside right now during Fan Friday? Okay. Uh, Shiloh passed away January 17th. We got men.